Hello everyone and welcome to the next video. In this video, we're gonna be going through max rent slash mortgage part two. So the video prior to this, we I walked you through you know, exactly what the calculation was, uh, why it's so important, understanding, understanding the desired profit section. And what I wanna do in this video is I wanna actually go through the spreadsheet with you and show you how we're gonna add this information in and get out that desired number, okay? So just to remind you guys, this is the most important and the best part of what we're doing because what we're gonna find out at the end is we're gonna find this number that we're gonna get, this, this max monthly rent you know, that we can spend, that, that's gonna be the beautiful number that allow us to pinpoint uh, any location that we want uh, with it. Like we know where we can go and where we can't go. And it's such a beautiful thing to know. So I'm really excited to actually get to this number uh, and show you what this number is and how to get to there. And so you can do it yourself and so that you can actually see how to use it. So, but however, just in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on the Excel sheet. Uh, and eventually we will get to the point of showing you how it's useful when you're actually trying to find a location, okay? So let's slide on over to the Excel sheet. And if you guys have been following along, you know what sheet I'm on, but just to remind you, I am on the, uh, the, the extraction portion, right? So this was the extraction section where you extracted everything. Um, I was using Chicago as a city and the neighborhood I extracted was near Northside, right? And then what I did was I took the revenues and I organized them based off of the unit sizes, right? Whether it be a three bedroom, three bath or a three bedroom, two bath, but we're gonna be focusing on the two bedroom, two bath and the two bedroom, one bath, right? And then what we did was we added in the averages. So we went all the way down, scrolled all the way down and this green bar right here was the average. So this is the average annual revenue um, that we got from all of the data that we extracted for this specific part of the city, right? So now uh, what we need to do is we need to add to this spreadsheet the annual expenses, right? So we've already, we know what the annual expenses are. We put that together and so now we're gonna put it in here. And like I had recommended, you wanna, you wanna figure out what the uh, max is. So find like the largest unit and put the, uh, to, to know the max and then go to the smallest unit and figure out what that would be. And that will kind of give you a range of what the expenses, the expenses are that you can expect. And that will allow you to um, know what it is for everything in between. So for this situation, I know that the uh, 22,000 is for the four bedroom, three bath. And I also know that the, uh, the two bedroom is 17,000. And so with this information, what I can say is what's in between, you know, these two numbers for a three bath, and it's gonna be roughly about 20,000. So I'm just gonna add 20,000 in for these guys. And then over here for the one bedroom, I'm just gonna lower it based off the roughly around the same amount that it's been lowered over here. And I'm gonna bring that down to 1500, okay? Uh, if this is a little bit higher than it actually is, I'm okay with that because I wanna overestimate, right? Always wanna overestimate. So we, we, we have now added the annual expenses to our spreadsheet, right? And they're right here, we can see them. We've plugged them into where they belong, right? With the, the different sized units and they're in there, simple. Now we're gonna, it, it is, we're gonna be able to use it within our calculation, okay? Now the next thing is desired profit. This is what we went over in the last video. How much money, how much profit do you wanna keep in your pocket regardless, right? So how much do you wanna keep? And it's a, a, a you know, no matter what, there's, there's no other way you can go about it. And for me, it's 20,000, okay? I wanna make 20,000. And I'm gonna keep that the same for all of these different unit sizes because I, that's just how much I wanna make, right? I don't, if, if a one bedroom isn't gonna make me 20,000, then I don't want a one bedroom, okay? It's as simple as that because, you know, I could have five one bedrooms that make me a total of $20,000 a year. But the thing is now I gotta take care of five different one bedrooms. I'd rather just maybe get one four bedroom that makes me the same amount of money. That's my logic here, right? So I put 20,000 and what I'm gonna do is this, this the little trick where you go to right to the corner where there's a square, wait for the cross to show up. You wanna click on it and then just slide all the way down. And what's happening here is Excel is copying that exact uh, number all the way across, okay? Now the next part here is actually using the formula that we went over in the last video to figure out what the annual max rent slash mortgage will be. And this is on an annual basis, right? So we, we know that formula, but uh, let's go through it again. So when you, whenever we do a formula, we always start with equal. That's how it works, right? Um, with Excel, with Google Sheets. So we start with equal. Now it's registered that we're gonna be putting a formula in, okay? And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna select the average annual revenue. So that would be this number here. So we're gonna select that. 
And as you can see, it populates right here. You can also see that it populates right over here. Now, the way it worked was average annual revenue minus our expenses. So then we select this one. So we put the minus symbol and then we select the, the, the one that's relative to what we're trying to do. And then we want to go minus again the desired profits. OK, and what that's going to leave us with is the amount that we can spend on a month uh, on an annual basis for rent or mortgage. OK, but what we really want to know, because of the way that things are advertised, is how much that is on a monthly basis. And so we go to this section here. We go equals and we click this because this is our new number that we want to, We want to figure out. And we go divide, which is a slash. And then we go, we type in 12 because there's 12 months throughout the entire year and press enter. And what does that give us? $7,801. Okay. So now we know for this section, how much we can spend on a monthly basis towards rent and still make our desired profit, right? Now we want to focus on the two bedrooms and not focus on anything else. However, I'm showing you a very easy way of being able to calculate this for an entire section quickly. Okay. So the, what we want to do now is very similar to what we did with the desired profit. We want to select this section. So this, this cell here, we want to go to that little uh, box, blue box. We want the cross to pop up. We're going to click and hold, make sure you're holding and we're going to slide this all the way across and Excel and Google sheets is a beautiful thing because it'll use that exact same calculation that you used here, but with the new numbers in, the, in these columns here, because it understands how to do that. Right. And then we want to do the exact same thing for the monthly. It's also a, a calculation or a formula. So we want to select that, hold it, holding, sliding over and let go. And boom, what do we get? We get the monthly max rent, oh, max rent slash mortgage, right? We finally have the most beautiful number that we've wanted this entire time. And why is it beautiful? Because it's the most useful and practical thing that we're going to have uh, to, to do the sales, to find the homes we want, everything. So if we look, right, I'm just going to scroll to get rid of all that other information. And this is all we're left with, right? If I just scroll this up, we know a four bedroom, three bath does, will be uh, to make $20,000, pay all of our expenses, we can spend $7,800 on rent. But let's focus on the two bedrooms. So now we're looking at this two bedroom here and we can two bedroom, two bath, and we can see that we have an additional $3,348 that we can give to a landlord and still make $20,000 on average. Okay. Based off of what the data has said and all the information that we have, that's beautiful. You know why that's beautiful? Because you hop over to Zillow, you put that as the max that you want to spend. You look up two bedroom, two baths, you go to the exact neighborhood that you're looking at and you see if there's anything available. And I'll tell you right now, we'll get into it, but there are a lot available at that price range, which tells me when, so when I look at that, that's all money. That was $20,000 a piece. Anyways, we'll get into that later. This is the most beautiful number. It's going to make everything so easy for you to, to know if a home is going to be profitable or not. Okay. So this is saying 33, uh, 3,300 for a two bedroom, two bath. If I find a place that's $5,000 a month, I don't want to go for it. If I find something that's 3000, I would want to go for it. That's how easy it becomes. You see what I mean? And I do want to point out here, if you look at this, this is a two bedroom, one bath. When we were, when I, explained earlier, you want to split up the bathrooms. The reason being is because this, this is how well a, how much I'm allowed to spend on a two bedroom, one bath for the exact same area. And this is how much I'm allowed to spend for a two bedroom, two bath. The only difference here is a bathroom, right? But we're using that, our calculation and using our information and using the averages that we have here, we can see that we can barely spend any money on a two bedroom, one bath in comparison to a two bedroom, two bath. So there's a lot more room to play here than there is here. So in that case, I would never get a two bedroom, one bath in this area, but I would always get a two bedroom, two bath. And now I know that. And it's so easy when I now go and look for a home. If somebody's like, yeah, I have a two bedroom, one bath available right here in your north side. Would you like it? The rent's $2,000 a month. They go, nope, I'm okay. Keep it yourself. Then they go, oh, I have a two bedroom, two bath that's available for, available for 2,500. Do you want that? You, instantly, you're going to say yes. And you're going to sign on a contract because you know, that's going to make you about $20,000 or more, right? So it's a, this is why it's so beautiful. This is why I love this. It makes, makes being an Airbnb entrepreneur so easy. It allows you to know that, well, not just so easy, but it helps you pinpoint the, the, uh, 
exact profitable locations. And that's what this is all about. We want to find places that are going to make us money, that are going to be worth our time, going to be worth our effort. And this is what this is what this beautiful little number is going to do for us. All right. And so in the next following videos, what we are going to go through is being able to actually find uh, use these numbers. How do we now practically use it? We, we spent this entire time getting to this point of just being able to find out that number, right? We spent hours and hours extracting data, putting the averages in and, and making phone calls to get all the expenses right. And now we have this number. Now let's figure out how to use it. Okay. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.